everyone. So today we will talk about the Hindu Arabic numerals that we are using today. So Hindu Arabic is brought brought by the Arabs from Moist to Spain from Morocco. Then the Spain brought it to India. An important influence into introduction of Hindu Arabic numerals was written by Al Khwarizmi. His book was later translated into Latin, entitled Liber, Liber Algorithm de Numera Ingram. So we can see that there is a close resemblance of our numerals in the Arabic. Now that we already know the origin of the Hindu Arabic numerals, let's move on to the symbol that we are using right now. First is the number one. The number, the symbol for the number one is used by all the ancient civilization. This numeral undoubtedly came from the lifted finger, which is the easiest and most natural way to show that we mean one. Next is the symbol for number two and number three. Probably owe their origin to computing rods or counting sticks. These were short bamboo sticks, which were laid on a flat surface, were used in computation. The two was expressed by two lines, and three was expressed by three lines. If we write it rapidly, we can create or we can make a symbol for number two as well as for number three. Now that we're done discussing the history of number three, let us now go on with number four. So it was conjectured that since four is the perfect square, Square, so 2 times 2 is equal to 2 squared, and 2 squared is equal to 4. It was then presented by 4 computing rods placed like square, which then developed into the 4 we have right now. So the next is number 7. So 7 is derived from Arabic Siba. When changing locations or when changing from one language to another, especially one using with different language, it is common for symbols to be rotated 90 degrees or 180 degrees. Thus, Siba became seven. So, like what I've said a while ago, that, that four was originated by a square, if we accept that theory or that origin, it is easy also to accept that the symbol for 8 might have been represented by two squares, one on top of the other. Let's move on to number 9. So, the neural 9 may have been derived from the Greek letter theta. So, in the Greek system of numeration, Letters of the alphabet were to represent numbers and the letter theta represented 9. So now let's go on to our last number which is 0. So 0 is probably one of the greatest achievements ever made in science. It is enable the Hindu calculators to leave the columns of the abacus and develop methods of written calculation. The symbol usually employed by the Hindus in written calculations to indicate the empty column in the abacus and it was a dot, which they called Sindhu. They did not think of this dot as a symbol for a number but as a symbol denoting an empty column. The earliest known use of symbol for zero is an inscription of Gwalior. Zero may be the last number to be discovered, but zero plays an important role in our system of numeration today.